All right, hello. I'm about to play the next entry in the Gustav competition, Polana's entry. I was told, however, that I should, before I do that, play the OG Gustav's Daughter by Niflas, which I suppose it makes sense to play at some point in conjunction with this competition. So we'll run through that and then we'll jump into the level called Gustav's Abstraction. But here's Gustav's Daughter by Niflas. Gustav's Daughter is locked in the storage room. Hard, small challenge. What a classic. Hello, Gustav. I accidentally locked my daughter in the storage room. Now I can't find a Zeki. Okay, I do. I might have the speedrun record in this level, but that doesn't mean I'm just gonna remember how to do everything offhand. Ah, ah! Do you wait there? Welcome in Kilikul. Hello, come on. Look, everyone is here. I don't think you wait here. But I guess we wait now. Ah, ah! We have setups for this. <laughs> I'm not supposed to have to wing it like that, but it's alright. Plus speed running level, gotta be. Yeah, you could call it a warm up level. Um, do I go here now? I think so. Yes. Oh, yes. No, where is it? Where am I going? Here to here to here, just up. Oh, okay. I feel like I should, you know, at some point I should stream all the Niflas levels too on my channel. Like, even though I've played them a million times, I have a machine playthrough already. This will be the Gustav playthrough. I need an excuse to play the others. I mean, I won't be able to help you with custom objects because I've never done a custom object ever, but there's plenty of people willing to help. If you're in the discords, which I assume you are. Oh yeah, I have umbrella. <laughs> Gonna need umbrella for this. That's not gonna. It does work! Touch. Whoop! Did I touch? I did not. Damn it! Yeah, you can ask here too. Maybe not the best place. But why not? In this part you can't really rely on centuries old muscle memory for. I wonder why people ask me to play this level now, if, if the next one I play is gonna be sort of closely related to this one and they wanted me to have it freshly in my memory. I would never forget this level anyway. Oh, that, okay, I forgot that part. I actually have no idea what we're supposed to do here. That? Oh yeah, I do this, but I feel like that's slow. It's 
Something like that. These strats I definitely don't remember. I think we just like jump in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could probably make it over that one as well. I guess I need to look at all the screens. Here's this screen. There's obviously a screen over here. I don't even know what's over here. Nothing, probably. A save? Okay. That's almost reachable. Thank you. If I get the chance to, I might return the favor in another adventure. Oh, maybe that's what it's about. Maybe the favor is about to be returned after all these years. Probably not, but who knows? Gusto's Daughter by Niflas. Very good. Very good. Obviously, a lovely level. A lot of fun to play. I should maybe go for the record in that again, just for fun. But we're gonna move on to the main event. Why does that happen? I don't understand. Uh, if you're curious about the contest rules, I went over them in the Straight Flame video, so you can always reference that. Oh? Did I get that? I would, I, it doesn't ring a bell immediately, but I could easily have forgotten that. I'd be very curious to see that if I didn't. Surely I went through all the secrets in that level. We put so much time into it. A secret in the no run ending. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, let's go get to Polanas. Gustav's abstraction by Polana. Gustav wants an adventure for once. Are we playing as Gustav? Hard, very hard. Okay. Medium maze challenge. Oh, that's not all I expected. Gustav's Extraction by Polana. What a wonderful screen. So, I believe the last Polana level was Hostile Landscape, which is amazing. Super good level. Not sure from the Straight Flame level if I should expect people to put, uh, you know, their best foot forward here or if they're making some sort of a half joke. Let's find out. Gustav's Abstraction. Okay, is this the color scheme? Once upon a time, Yuni was preparing for another of her lonely journeys to turn off some strange and sinister machine hidden deep in a cave. Someone knocked on her door. It was her friend Gustav. He begged her to take him along, just this one time, because he was tired of always waiting for his kids or his stuff to be unlocked, and he wanted to have fun for once. Is a co-op level? He re reluctantly agreed, as she knew how clumsy Gustav is. She made him to promise he won't touch anything, and especially not in the machine room. However... Just as, wait, the shape's on the left. Uh, just as Uni was going to turn off the machine using the big lever in the middle of the room, flock of ninjas appeared out of nowhere to stop her from doing so. Because Gustav promised not to touch anything in the machine room, and that included even surprise ninjas, he would be pretty useless in a fight anyway, he decided to sit down in quiet corner and eat sandwiches he brought with him. Not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the inconspicuously looking bump he sat on was actually the sky's twitch of the second secret machine. <laughs> okay. The uh, integrity of this establishment is just dropping. Before Uni could do anything, they both were teleported to some strange, vaguely soapy place. Oh, is this a liquid soap reference? At least the ninjas weren't with them anymore. Fortunately, there was portal leading back to normal world just next to them. Unfortunately, he was locked behind a gate, and there was no key to be found in the cave they were in, or was it? <laughs> One more time, Uni asked Gustav to just sit, don't touch anything, and went on to explore the strange place. It's a very, very good story, absolutely. This is what happened next. 
a shout out. Whoa. What a lovely shade of blue. Okay, here's the cave. Where did Gustav though? Do we already leave him? Press down for easier version. Oh, do I play both or do I just go for harder? I guess I just go for harder. You have 10 seconds to reply. Then I'm going for harder. Uh, just sit down here, don't mess with anything, okay? I'll get us out, just need to find that damn key. Okay, it's got a very interesting look. Oh, the lock is uh, custom colored as well to match. Okay, I like, I like. I'm a bit shocked because there's more colors than hostile landscape, but... I am expecting very strong in design. I see all these flashy blocks in the wall. I really like that. They are underused. Okay. So he's guarding... Gustav locked the portal to our own reality in a storage room. Okay. Well, this is abstract. Ah! Well, that's something. Okay. Ah, so this is the map. Oh, custom enemy. So this is our little map rule. I'll start with this one, just because I have a choice. I have no climb, and this looks quite climby. I love the little half blocks. You're not even half blocks, you know, but the tiny blocks. Ah, I want to play that area. It looks cool. I guess we're going to liquid soap land. It's not quite liquid soap, but it's very similar. Okay, we're using Gustav music. That's cute. A black save? I've never seen that. It's not reacting like a normal save. That's a shame. But otherwise, it's very cool. And it's here because of this guy. Custom graphics look very nice. The white background, though, it's quite brave. Right, there's a climb. Is it gonna be the same now? That we oh, we have to come back here again. That was something that was missing in straight flames level, but I guess a lot of things were, especially brain cells. <laughs> I say that with love. I don't even know if that's a real save, probably. Okay. I like these places to have names, but I guess it's fine. Okay, this looks fun. And this is the hostile landscape background. So far, this level is a lot of fun. I don't see how it's a hard maze, but I guess we'll find out. Double jump. Breezing through this. Yeah, it's quite nice. Oh, right, that guy. It's nice that the music is used. This is the cave music, obviously, which is sort of an inverted cave, I guess. Whoa. Relax. It's a hard, hard <laughs> sentence to read. Ooh, really enjoying the dynamic that these sloped, curvy things create. The music is looping in a way that it doesn't do in Gustav's Daughter, though. Kind of throwing me off. Uh, messy. Could just take it slow. I 
also got scared, so <laughs> we're all in it together. The big boy has a big bounce, but I should be able to jump from here. What? Okay, let's go fast. Always better. Ooh, 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 okay. That's a juicy mix of characters. Let's get him over here, maybe. Should run. I know about the Im ambience trick. Could it be that? Fifty-fifty. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it is too short, but the problem is, uh, I mean, I should be out of here already, I guess. And then it wouldn't be so obvious. Again? Okay, no, it's different. Okay, we got high jump. Is that what I need, I guess? Whoa, there's... Is that the key? Is that D key? This looks more pinkish. Wasn't D key more orange? Something there. That's umbrella, I would say. Let's see. Yeah, it might be. It's really hard to say. Oh, look at the portal, actually. That's such a cool graphic. Anything happened, Gustav? You good? You need, you need a soda or something? I wouldn't say definitely. It's a hard shade to distinguish, but probably is. Here we need I, I guess. Or do we? This is close to the water. Huh, we need I, I say. It's a Gustav level, come on. You're certain of it from playing the level, maybe. <laughs> That's not how I thought of it, a rotating mirror. I guess you have better sense of color than I do. I do this first time. Whoop. No. I mean, I can make that. Jeez, there's a lot of these jumps in a row. Yeah, just from the key being so small, it was hard to even get a good idea of the color. Don't kill me. Okay. Alright, one more. Yeah. Oh, okay, here's some other stuff. I love these little nooks. <laughs> They're very cute and curious. Wait, is this a, that's an enemy, and did I save? Oh, I did save. Uh, let's once again go in backwards. I like the idea of green. Not gusto music. Is this where we need eye? Not sure if umbrella would be enough. It's interesting that these different places really hard to uh, establish the, the theme of them, what they are, you know. And Gustav's daughter, it's all oh, the waterfall area, the cave, the castle. What the hell are these places? Oh man, is this just Gustav Cave 
going crazy. Wait, reverse peekaboo? Well, on the ceiling? What did I miss? This looks mega annoying. What is this curve? I'm gonna die. Yeah, that would be a reverse one that actually hides when you get close. That would be funny. Aren't ceiling peekaboos vanilla? Am I crazy? No, it's okay, I guess I just made that up. Hmm. Am I supposed to have umbrella here? That would make it quite a lot easier. This, this next jump though is so ass. It's too low. Doesn't really help. Ah, so fast. Must have been like the one end of the RNG spectrum for fastest movement. Wish I could get that when I speedrun Talano. Disappearing block? I don't think so. It's really interesting movements. Bonking into the second place. I mean, in a weird way, this really is the essence of Gustav's Honor. Platforming above death. Okay, so... Bonk, and left, and then whoop, and then whoop. And another one there, and then we do a little whoop. This curve is so... Ugh. That's why they gave us options. It's really not that bad, it's just that one jump and maybe <laughs> the next one as well. High precision platforming, at least on what, what, which game would do that better? This is the game for high precision platforming. But falling is not the platform. Right, there's no platforms here. Uh, Can't be done. Inlet is a way different genre. And underground? No way. What? That's that's a you thing.
Do I go back? That jump feels... Not human. To like jump off the wall into it to like get a better angle. Not sure. Well, well, this is a platform with platforms, so it definitely is a different game. I mean, if it's, and you could say it's a platformer with a top-down view. I think that's more accurate. Than what Nifla said. Because the bubbles are platforms. Can't do it. I'll try like a weird jump thing. Wait, I didn't do the weird jump thing and it still worked. Now, is this second one gonna be any easier? Doesn't look like it. Oh! There's a path. There's a one tile gap. Ugh. Okay, more stuff here. Around there, there. Stuff. Save. Okay, hello, friends. It's probably 2900th level upload to the archive. Oh, well, let's celebrate. When are we getting 3k? Okay, let's see what this is gonna be like. That guy's annoying. That doesn't work. So glad I got that second jump on the first try, because the first one here was such a pain. It's a new kind of jump for me, this curve, the other side of thing, it's not easy. Got it. Blue key. You mean ones that disappear when you get close? Yeah, that would would be fun. Much more fun than the original ones, for sure. Oh, am I going back? Really? <laughs> Are you gonna make me go back? I don't think that's gonna be any easier. Oh, you can see him in the water. Ones on the ceilings? Well, no. That would not be fun. Look, he's still... You can see him on the surface of the water. It'd be cool if you could use him as a platform. That's something that would be cool. Oh! Didn't actually expect that. What's the deal with this place? We wanted to start a rock and roll band, but none of us has any fingers, so we can't play guitar or drums. I guess we're just stuck as a barbershop quartet then. Let's hear it. Was it meant for Umbrella? 
I suspected that, but then it would have been too easy. Oh no. Now we're not going to be able to get back. Eh. Okay, I need to hold this. We will find out once I find Umbrella. Ah, no, that's another one. Another one of those. See, that they're just so hard. Double jump is like instant. That instant, though. I don't think you were supposed to have umbrella. If this was supposed to be hard, because it would be so trivial. It would make sense that you have it in the not hard version, yes. What kind of jump is that? Trying to anticipate it because it's kind of needed. I'm too early. Wow, that didn't work. Greed. I was stuck on the freaking slide. Okay. Come on. Same thing every time. Should I just aggressively slide off it like Hua? I do not have that confidence. That's what always happens. The timing, I mean, it's very close to the timing, is the thing. Because it instantly gets too late otherwise. tough is this gonna be on the way back these jumps are crazy but at least they're at the start right we'll get them out of the way hmm. we try some things Maybe. Mm, why is the jungle coming out? 
Why is the jump not coming on? Okay, it's like a tenth of a second after the screen transition. Uh, a fifth of a second. Okay, this might not actually help. Possibilities. Okay, I think I just need to do it. Surely, if the umbrella was required, then there would have been some gap that's impossible to clear without umbrella, otherwise this happens. But I guess it's a possibility. These two jumps seem to be that gap. We drop like from here. My jump is always too late. That's finally too early. No, definitely hold this. That should be the hardest jump. <laughs> yeah, just jump forward. Should be enough to reach the second wall. This might take a while. A whiler. It's already been a while. This is the only part that makes me believe that I should have umbrella. one is more leeway than the first. Just gotta relax.
Oof. Is he moving faster than they normally do? Feels like it. What? Is I jump from the double block? He was so fast all the time. The RNG on this dude is off the charts. But yeah, definitely was better jumping from there. More headspace. Couldn't reach across from a jump like that. Yeah, setup for this first jump would have done a lot. Couldn't find one. Is there anything else? There's a climbing sound when I transition. Did I try that? Is that what I tried? Seems like it would work. I guess this is what I tried, yeah. Am I really that late? I don't think so. First jump takes too long.
Okay, I don't remember the next screen. I'm not sure why it's harder. It shouldn't be. Because those two jumps are the same, and here I have to do all that work to get to... I don't know. It's just that one jump that is really hard. Okay. Oh, wait, is this... It? Oh, it is it. I thought there were more screens. There were more screens. Yeah, oof, that was rough. <laughs> uh, we got blue key from that. I don't think I've seen a blue lock though. And this was nothing. So that means that you were not, like, if we assume that I'm supposed to have umbrella, then you were not supposed to get past this even without umbrella. But is this even challenging? To do without umbrella. Jeez. Not really. Um, blue lock. Okay, and this I guess is new. This section is amazing. I love this section. I guess this is the waterfall section, yeah? It has the music. So I guess the music shows where it's inspired from. <laughs> is that umbrella? Uh, I was supposed to... Wait, I can't reach it. But it seems like I was supposed to have freaking... Umbrella. But that's so easy then. Now I don't have to backtrack here, right? So I saved time. <laughs> I saved time because I'm not backtrack. <laughs> wow, okay. I was supposed to have umbrella, that's my bad. I mean, okay, it's not my bad though. When you're making a level with this sort of area selection thing, you gotta be really careful to make sure your friend player doesn't get like locked out. Or like stuck in an air. You gotta be careful about that. And there was really nothing stopping me from going there. Secret way of playing, yes. All the blue key stuff was only reachable by accident without the umbrella. Huh? I don't know if by accident is the right word, but yeah. It wasn't a soft block, but... If that was not supposed to happen, then you gotta be more careful. Anyway, if I found another secret. I'm starting to think maybe every area has a secret like this. Maybe I missed something before. Look out! I need someone got into our cave. Good thing we're so well camouflaged. Yeah. Your cave is nicely hidden, though. Gotta, gotta hand it to you. My morbid curiosity is what really got me in here. No secrets and secrets. Why is this... Uh, blue pattern. Why does it look so good? <laughs> it's just pixels. Okay, uh, I don't even remember where I came from. I think it's not here. There's an eye. eye I'll take that. I feel like this is gonna loop. Oh jeez. Relax. Okay, it does loop. Those were some drops. Let's just I guess make another lap. Make sure nothing funky changed. Eee. 
tight squeeze. Am I, is that not a supposed block? That's not actually a blocker. Need to experiment blobs. Is that what these are? Aha, you mean the these guys. Yeah, they're good. I mean, they deserve full inclusion. weren't enough. Alright, that's a lab. This music is so nice. If you can call it music. It's just dudes. I guess I should look for ice stuff. Hold on. Probably not though. Common fruit. Of course it's music. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of weird music. It's like bubbles. The sound of bubbles and rhythm. But it's good. Oh, wow, that sounds super interesting. I want to see that and do those challenges. I have not heard of this. Uh, I. So, well, I thought I would be for here. But that's umbrella. So, I really could be anything. <clears throat> anything, anywhere. Oh, games? That's a different thing. This way. Yeah, this is new. It's gonna be hard to see those uh, eye walls with this white background. Green locks, of course. The forbidden color. I guess we'll do our run through this. The eye could be for where we just were, where we were met by a wall. Maybe we go there again. It'd be hard for me to miss secrets here. It doesn't seem like there's any room for secrets. And it's just some random opening. I love the black saves, very cool. Even though I still haven't gotten confirmation that they work. Secret is here, you know? Oh, and do they work? Of course they do. We might be just done with this area. But wait, this is the area that the freaking key is in that we're looking for. Is it not? Wow. Okay, anything here? Anything sussy? Not really. That does sort of look like a one tile gap right here. Down here, except we just need the green key. That place we were just in, so we're going across. Now let's see how freaking hard this is with umbrella. Oh, I died, so I guess it is hard. Q. 
huge? I wouldn't say it's huge. It's medium. Have you seen a Shreep's level? <laughs> There's gonna be a huge level coming up. Um, this place, this is I place. Yes, of course. Ah, uh, left first. I mean, everything is freaking easy when you have all these power ups. I don't know why I wasn't protected from the drops. Should I like avoid umbrella like I avoid hollow? Yeah, I'm curious about this blue cave though. How easy that's gonna be. I think those hardest jumps are still gonna be hard because they're so close to the water. Is this song in Gustav's daughter? I don't think so. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, there isn't that much music, is there? From a strange room. This is. Hmm. Which part of strange room is this? The like lab in the bottom right. This place. It is the lab. Another green, or is this a different shade of green? I prefer this shade of green. So, nothing for me here. I guess I was right about the eye opening that wall that I got stuck on. Or this is really a maze. Okay, so how hard is this gonna be? That's what I want. What was over here? Ah. Is this a loop or is it... Mm... It's not a loop, is it? The non underwater part of that? Uh huh. Gee. What a challenge. Oh no. <laughs> I'm glad I did it that way. That's the real way to do it. I don't want to hear nothing. That's different from the other ones. There was one here as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, so there's another one of these here. Hello. We wanted to start a rock and roll band, but none of us have any fingers, so we can't play guitar drums. Wait, is this... Huh? I was here? I thought this was a screen further. No, I guess I went here and then I was stopped by the wall. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Getting senile. Whoop. I thought it was gonna be a continuation of the story, like maybe these guys have hands. But not whatever else. That's no little singing voice. So we bring them together. Yes! I was literally hoping to find Detector. Not even kidding. Help me with these secrets, my dear friend. There's no Detector in Gustav's daughter. Well, let's not be silly. But I'm sure. Someone might have expected me to be like, oh, I'll listen, I just get Detector when I'm wasting mm, pointless. When you're doing blind playthroughs, Detector can be quite nice. Especially when you know there's secrets. And once you, like, if you have Eye as well, then you're, like, fully prepared to search for stuff. And you can knock stuff off your list. While hugging time? I mean, I'm already doing that. I'm not gonna go crazy looking for cigarettes. Doesn't seem to be that many. Who knows? Ah, greedy. How's it going? Well, a uh, sequence broke, which was very difficult. 
But I did that just to make sure you would have enough time to get back. Yeah, this was the part, right? Or was it this part? No. From, yeah. So I did this part here. All of this without umbrella. Because I thought I had to. He was trying to do it on stream recently, he gave up. I can see why. There was one particular spot that was a real, real pain. I didn't think Polana would let this happen, like, that you would get here and have the option to play hard mode like that. Yeah, so this save I was on for a long time. This jump here. Did I do it again without Umbrella? Give you a little taste of the fun we had. This is what you missed. <laughs> well, now I have to do it. I mean, it was quite fun, except for this part, you know? Except for this one jump. The rest of it was a really cool challenge. And, like, with Umbrella, it's just trivial. Like, I did not believe that on the hard difficulty it would be this trivial. By the way, should I play both difficulties? Okay, I got the texture from that. There's a path to the right as well. I did, went in and out there just to save. I believe they do save. Ah, not what I wanted to do. But I mean, there's no, like, it's no, like, other content, right? We'll see I won't reach there. Maybe if I want to speed run it. Stop doing that. No one. Okay. So we'll see. I'll, I'll maybe do easy as well. potential. Yeah, I have detector, so show me if there is a secret. There is not. Very well. I don't know much that could be more annoying than if someone would put detector in the level and then have secrets, but have like some secrets that aren't detected by detectors. I trusted you. Is this a machine screen? Oh, there's a key. That's not yellow, that's bright green key? Lime key? Uh, what's my take on the level otherwise? It's lovely. Bizarre. Like, all these different areas, but you can't, like... Uh, categorize them. Like in Gustav's Daughters. Oh, the mountain area, the cave, the castle. It's <laughs> just different weird spaces, uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's I'm kind of it's kind of weird that I went through all that with the no umbrella stuff, muddied the water. But it's definitely very solid, visually pleasing level. My favorite area is the small blue pixel area, where I did get umbrella. That place is beautiful and a lot of fun. Okay. Lime Key. Wasn't this here? And on the right? Yeah, I didn't notice the key until I got close. It's a lot of colors on that screen. Okay, I like this stuff too. I mean, really, this level is just full of 
type of challenges that I like. It's kind of made for me. I guess this is a reference to the castle area, right? It's the castle area on crack, but these things are quite similar. I wonder if the timings are similar and you could do speedrun strats. Oh. I need hollow before I can do this. These secret places really make it all worthwhile. Why are there so many flights while there are none in the other parts of this cave? Why are those balls in the other place upside down? I'll probably never know, but that's fine. I wonder though if there's any other nit that saw so much weird and beautiful things in this world as I did. Another thing I'll never know. This is very pretty in a very odd way. Abstract and slightly pretentious way. Oh shit. Maybe don't walk into the water. Just an idea. Don't know what balls on the ceiling he's talking about. There was a save under the hollow, I never took it. <clears throat> Whoa. No, why, why did I try that? to that guy. Hello. No? <laughs> right. Right. It does have subtle tributes, doesn't it? And it has some non-subtle tributes too with the music. So maybe there's a secret under that toast. No one ever does stuff like that though. Cool, hollow. There was a hollow spot. Wasn't it also in this area? Backtracking toast, yes. Ooh. Try to go under. Here could also be secrets. Oh, hello. Okay, that was just three. So we have two tints of green keys. That's ambitious. Oh, wait, does this mean we're done? Now we just go there, use the key, get the next key, and then we're done. Oh, that's so sad. There's so much, like, effort put into each screen I feel. We just breeze through them. Do you know all the secrets? Lucinda. I think it's fine to miss a secret on this one. They're just sort of funny things that make it all worthwhile. Luciana. Uh, so it's gotta be here, right? It's chicken on Gustav. You good? Still don't want a soda. Yeah, I really like that portal. Wow, cheese. I was watching some game show or some quiz show 
the other night. And one of the answers was Lucinda. Unfortunately, I don't remember. Like, I, the question was way too difficult, so I didn't remember. The answer was just something and Lucinda. I don't think it was Don Quixote at all. I would remember that. All right, I got the key to our, to our portal thingy. I guess that's it. Sad, but true. Uni unlocked the gate. She and Gustav then entered the flickering portal that was behind the gate, both afraid where they will end up. To their great surprise, they found themselves on the field near their houses. Gustav thanked Uni for their adventure, although he did nothing, and then they both went home. Yeah, Gustav didn't do anything, really. Just increased the stakes, I guess. That's it by... Ooh, the left graphic is cool. That's it by Niflas and Polana. Music by Niflas from Gustav's Daughter and A Strange Dream. CO is mostly based on Niflas's objects from Newt Experiment. Uh -huh. And it's stories with use of templates made by Eagle Massive and Lit Knob. Of course. Black Save Point by Fubaka. Nice touch. Sound effect by Niflas and Lit Knob. Knob. <laughs> this series by Niflas Case Plus Mode by Eagle Massive Mode. Extra music. Ender Disco by Kevin McLeod. Is that from a secret there I didn't find? Edder Disco? Do we have any disco music? Yeah, Linnab has been popping up in every credits nowadays. Seems like I missed a secret. Lucy, help me. Uh, testing makes so easier path. Well, no one tested the hard path. Maybe you should have done that to see if you needed to make it harder and impossible to do without Umbrella. Just saying, could have been a good idea. All right, let's let's run through easy mode then. Why not? And this time we'll do that in the right order. And everyone listen and look for music. The singing bounces are a secret though. Yes. But I don't think we had disco music. Okay, so I guess we just do them in order, right? That was my thing. I was trying to, you know, take advantage of the fact that you have choices. And I went further away before closer, and then I got that umbrella nonsense. Okay, I'm not noticing any difference. Just that's it, yeah. It's, I mean, it's liquid soap, but not really, right? Doesn't even feel like a tile set. Yeah, this area is so good. Both visually, well, especially gameplay wise. But I like the visuals a lot too. Great stuff. Some creators are just timeless. I feel like. Okay, so now I don't go here. Well, this looks so different in easy mode. So. I, I go back. You just go back and forth between these a bunch until you have Umbrella. Press down. I came so far onto it. I need ultra easy setting, please. I guess. Maybe if I don't... Uh, 
Like, I'm thinking if I should just go back to my hard file and run through at least some of these areas, now that I have detector and stuff. I didn't really give the secret hunting the old college try. Yeah, this screen had the fire guy in the middle. But I'm not sure that's harder because more of his stuff got blocked. Well, that's a safe sound. <laughs> you sure you tested easy mode? <laughs> Why must you always go right? Oh yeah, there was no annoying Christmas tree screen. Yeah, I don't remember. I'll just play and I'll let you guys decide what the differences are in the difficulty. Can I just make this jump straight up? What? How do I jump less high? Like, I should definitely be able to reach that, yeah? Yeah, so last time I, I didn't have to go back down after this. <laughs> I already had blue key. I guess this, uh, this one is not changed because it's blue key in the waterfall area on the original as well. Maintaining that. Uh, there's a two block wide thing right up here. No, not this time. Portals are very cool, especially the like the one that's locked, the last one. It looks very cool. Okay, so now we can make it through this thing because we have umbrella. Is this harder than? Okay, I gotta do it without umbrella. Why is it always like this? Freaking water. Freaking water. Thank you. Gee, I'm sure glad I have umbrella for this part. Oh boy. Mm, left to right is once we have I. So much land, so much distance from the water. Yep, sure. I'm glad I got that umbrella. Noticing that I, I'm not using it, right? I mean, I know this is easy, but you're still supposed to have umbrella here. Uh, all right, that was blue keys. So now I go for this again. Ooh, see here? Wait, no. I think I can. 
Like, this is all you needed. Just one big jump that you have to have Umbrella for. But not even this exists because I can do this. This is the hardest jump. Yeah, but then you have jumps like these that are so annoying. I'm gonna wanna learn like how to do this section. <laughs> now I'm just gonna grind this section of it. This is like the most fun gameplay. I don't know. I'm freaking jumping straight up. Love it. Um how do you know that I missed it? I did suspect that it would be there, and that's the first place I would go with detector. Maybe I found it the first time. We'll go check a look after I'm done with easy. Let's go right this time. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe the secrets don't exist on easy? Love the ceiling of this area. I don't understand what's so good about the ceiling. I love all the parts of this area. I also like that there's a lot of bubbles in the water. Another underutilized thing. Where was the secret here? Was it here? find this one though. Okay. Yeah, this looks like the spot. Yeah, same. for that jump because it's just annoying. Well, I guess once I've done a part without umbrella, I can use umbrella. A cave lake is so cool. Have you seen a cave lake in real life? I have a buddy who keeps harping on about that. Because he went to one where you, you like swim inside and then you're in a cave. Um, I think there's stuff on both sides, right? This is the detector here. I'll look for the secret in the next, in the in the hard file. Help me with that then. This file isn't real. Easy doesn't count. Oh, should I do this umbrella list too? I think I made my point. Beautiful wall, this is. I didn't, didn't get my jump from that.
It's good that I uh, play all this extra stuff now after beating the level. So that when the YouTube video gets up and they see me get stuck in the umbrella less thing, they will look at the video time and be like, oh my god. He's gonna be here for hours. I didn't see a popcorn there. Is this screen harder on easy? I don't remember this being tricky. Uh, that was the there. So now, after all of that, this is the first time you're supposed to go in this place. Really? So late. And then you just do everything in one visit. Hm. That's not very Gustav-like. This seems exactly the same. Oh no, no toasts. The toasts are on. This seems exactly the same. I don't think this thing was raised before. Yep. Oof. Huh, there were no teeth before. What was here instead? Oh, the ghost! Okay, that's much harder. <laughs> Those chaser ghosts. They're among the hardest enemies in the game. This really is what KS is all about. It's fun. I grabbed it. Bullshit. are nearing the conclusion so if you're a fake fan you can leave already thank you well that was easy mo I, I didn't really notice much difference not sure if there was it was needed Because hard mode wasn't that hard. I made it hard, but it wasn't that hard really, the rest of it. Okay, so now I have all the stuff. Detector and I and all that stuff. So your secrets are mine. I guess we didn't come back here with all that stuff. No. I don't think I had detector when I was looking for stuff here. Yeah, we can, we can go full cheese. Oh yeah, we should do this thing as well, right? The border that lights up. Just to make it extra clear. Yeah, that's pro strats. Probably need a, it's, it's a white background. I can't see the green around me. No enemies here. Oh, there isn't. Any. Uh, I 
guess I could do this too. I doubt there's there's not room for anything here. I'm gonna be feral. Right, it's not here. I'm trusting that the detector will show it. Oh, we can freeze this guy in place too. I don't think that's useful. And I already checked underneath him, which I think is a good spot for a secret, but there was not. I survived that somehow. Ah, I missed this one. Okay. This is this Capardi gets to the music. Found it. Welcome in our disco party cave where 70s never ended. Oh, take me there. They're not dancing though, they're just standing awkwardly. At the disco by Kevin McLeod aka Incompetech. Yeah, is that a check thing? Who, Lucinda or me? I don't. I see Czech people. Okay, I think that's enough music, thank you. Did I really not check this corner? After I distinctly checked underneath this guy, I didn't check above this guy? Someone rewind the tape and explain to me how that happened. Oh, these are the two blobs you meant. Hey, it's not a problem, it's cute. And it's, it's very interesting to see like these language differences and where the struggle is based on, you know how the original language is laid out. So I learned that that's a check thing. I'm sure there's plenty of Swedish things like that too. It just so happens that we would use our word for two in that sentence as well. Like, welcome to. So that's an unfair advantage. Well, I guess that's... Okay, so now I think I found a secret in every area. Right? One there, one there. Yeah, I did find one in every area. I did not find one in the overworld. Which apparently there is one, so let's smell it out. I guess we can get rid of the border now. don't think it's really critical. I don't know Czech English dialect just from the top of my head. Would need, would need to hear it. Okay, well, it's surely not in these sections because here you're all clamoring to every wall to begin with. Unless it's right here. Ah la la. Not go up there in that mysterious little ledge. Oh, I see a little glow, and the border confirms it. But where? I just straight up. Hello. Don't tell anyone I'm up here. I'm hiding because if was sick of them asking me. I was sick of them asking me how do I do this. I have no idea. I just want to be normal. Anti-grav, dude. The wall design? Yeah, it's good. It's very good. Usually when you see someone using like the patterns like this, they're, they're just... It's just the same pattern everywhere and you go crazy. Here it's a very strong pattern, but it's all mixed up and... Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Take notes, everyone. You ugly ass levels.
I didn't touch the entire ceiling. You know what? I found one secret per area. I'm gonna trust that's it. That just makes sense. Very elegant. I like the level itself. Just wish Gustav would say more. Yeah. That was Gustav's abstraction by Polana. Super solid. You know, I said that, oh, we're not gonna get a normal Gustav level. I would say this was like a normal Gustav level, just with all the, you know, special flair and beauty of the Polana touch. But, you know, this, this is really what, I guess, the spirit of the competition would be. I don't really know what to say about this level. It's just really, really good. Exactly what you would want out of a level. Fun and interesting and, uh, you know, looking at it is interesting. You know, visual appeal while you're having fun doing challenges and stuff. Yeah. I would have... My gripe, I guess, is with just with the order of the areas. I would have mixed it up a bit. I'm not complaining about the backtracking because that's also part of Gustav stuff. But it was really, everything was sort of in order. And then you go to the last spot and you just clear it out. Could I use a bit more twists and turns and that stuff? Well, I didn't mean it as a bad thing, like, oh, this is normal. He says literally nothing? Well then, yeah, yeah I wish he said more. <laughs> Working on Gustav's vacation, I made a pool tie slip, but it was scrap. Huh. The area order was, yeah, quite predictable. That's really a small complaint to have, but it still matters. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't say this is a normal level. It's beyond that. It's really very good. It takes, it takes some talent to put something like this together, so it was very enjoyable. Probably the winner of the competition in my mind. I think the last entry is a bit of a cheat, but you'll see more about that later.